Hey YouTubers, Let Your Vengers here with a special package from a great mate and YouTuber, um, Mark Vigia, um, whose channel na new channel name is Lactobellus Prime. I'll link down below. Um, for this is uh, computing technology. Um, it's sort of related to retro games, as long as you run emulators on it. But it's still related to the Raspberry Pi. Um, he ordered a, a second case for his Pi, um, and he only used one in the end. I think he might have been um, getting more than one pie at one stage. And he said he'd send me his spare one. So, because uh, my pie is still a naked pie. And um, well, I haven't had it out as much as I would like because I'm, I, you know, without a case it's very hard to have it set up. Um, so very well wrapped. I perhaps should have cut open the box beforehand. Um, and I still haven't found the scissors that my daughters have borrowed. So I have to do this with a model blade. So we have a little note. Um, it says, Tony, just a small lightweight package. Enjoy the case. Cheers, Mark V. There we go, inside we have to appreciate how small the pie is. And there we go, it's a nice little case for the pie. So it's got some cooling holes and for your network connection and have all the hole holes for the connections. And it just clips together. <laughs> and inside it's personally signed by Mark. So Mark V was here with a little smiley face. And it's got some little rubber feet as well. So what I might do is install the Pi and um, as part of this video um, there's been a new set of firmware released for the Pi that solves um, a couple of issues. For a start it allows you to overclock it without setting off the overclock al uh, alarm flag thus voiding your warranty. Um, plus they've uh, fixed the built-in Wi-Fi issues, so um, with Wi-Fi dongle, you know, Wi-Fi dongle should be able to work without you having to plug it into a LAN interface. So I don't have a Wi-Fi dongle to try that, I can only hardwire it. Um, but I'll upload the firmware and download the latest build and see how it runs. So um, I'll do that with the, um, with the separate camera and just take some video as I do it and add it onto the end of this. Um, also, uh, today in the mail I've got the latest retro gaming magazine, so I'm looking forward to it. I actually quite like what they've done with the flippy cover, the alternate cover on the back, so that's the back. And there's the front, looking forward to reading that with some coffee. Alright, thank you very much for Mark. Make sure you check out his um, uh, channel, especially um, those of you who have subscribed to his old channel name um, and haven't yet switched over to his new channel name. Um, which I'll put a link down below. Alright, and I'll catch you later. Right, here we go. I have the Pi set up. Now, what I've done, I've reorganised this section of my, um, what I call my YouTube rendering main uh, machine desk. Um, I've just made a little unit here. Got the Vectrex in it allows me to keep out the um, top loader. And the TV, the top loader works out that is, um, is up the top. And we have the Sega SC3000 in there as well, um, all wired into that TV and it allows me to have this second monitor which has both DVI and VGA inputs for both using the Pi, which is all hooked up there in the case that Mark sent me. Um, and also if I, because um, I do repair PCs um, on occasion, allows me to you know, have a keyboard and mouse and and set up quickly here to build a PC, but still not take this the screen of this PC out of action. Have to pull cables out all the time, which was always a nuisance. And if, I mean, it just allows me a bit more room on this desk. I've got my soldering station and my um, cutting mat there. It just makes it a little better. So um, I'll just put this camera in position. Excuse 
in for a second. Let's get this set up so you can see. Hopefully this will get close enough. Um, now, the really good thing that shows that the pies are becoming more mainstream is, I'll just show you this article. So this is an article on overclocking your Raspberry Pi and it's in the Australian Personal Computer. This is the second month in a row they've had articles on not just the Raspberry Pi but other um, Android sticks. Uh, they've got a whole article on Android sticks there as well and some of the last thing of alternatives um, and so they seem to have a dedicated section on um, you know mini um, computer boards which is excellent so for the small cut there my fax machine went off now I'm going to try and um, use the command here to um, upgrade Pi and see if we can, um, you know, overclock it. Sorry, my um, is still going. So, obviously, those not in Australia won't have access to this magazine, so I'll put this command. There's an, um, a note down at the bottom. Okay, so this is now updating. And if I have trouble with this, I mean, I, all I did was set up this original distribution and I haven't really um, played around with it or you know, customised it or anything like that so um, if this doesn't work properly I'll um, download the latest version of the complete distribution and give it a go and there could actually be quite a few packages here that it needs. So this update is going to take a little while so I might um, cut here and come back to when it's finished. Right here we are back again Going a bit closer to that window. Uh, it took a little while to finish, uh, then I got distracted by family stuff, so it's actually a day or so later, but it's in, um, and there was quite a bit of updating to do, so I haven't actually played with the Raspberry Pi for a little while. So the next step um, is to run sudo rspi config. Okay, so it's a text-based tool, um, and you can go down to overclock. Right, so currently the default is 700. Um, now I haven't put um, any sort of um, heatsink on the, the processor or anything yet, so. Let's just um, uh, go for 900. And actually, I suppose we need some comparison. So, um, let's just bring up the web browser. So, here we go. Here is firing up the web browser. First on the list, I'm disappointed. <laughs> okay, and there's rendered the website, so uh, shut that, and we'll just do second launch just to get rid of caching. So 
results. So that was a little faster that time because we've cached some of these results. Okay, our glass still going. There we go, we're loaded. Okay, now let's try come back to here and go for 900. our interface. Okay, now I suppose this really needs to be compared with our first thing because obviously there's going to be no caching because we've got a fresh boot but some of the files may be cached though I suppose. So. Okay, well that actually seems snappier there. And there we go, I mean it's fairly subjective but in my opinion that's given a little bit of speed boost so what I'll do, I'll continue running that for a little while and see how it goes and now that I've got the pie set up um, in a better position Um, you know, keyboard, room to set a book, and plenty of storage space. Um, it'll be a lot easier to use and play with. And plus, this area will make a good area for me when I'm repairing um, and uh, you know, doing any soldering and repairing any computers and trying them out. All right, thank you. Hopefully, this video hasn't gone too long. Um, and oh, and thanks once again to Mark Lactabilius Prime for um, sending me the pie case. Make sure you check out his channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you all later.